Hello and welcome back to PA Academy. So, so far in this video we have been looking at isometric drawing. And right here we are having is a, this is a drawing 15, so we've looked at 14 drawings so far. So now this is what we are going to be replicating. We are going to be replicating this isometric drawing. Now, if you look at this isometric drawing, it's similar to the top, this particular top, is similar to what we look at, uh, looked at in drawing 14. The only difference is that this one is at the top, and this is what we looked at uh, in drawing 14. So you can see it's at the side. For drawing 14 it's on the side but this time around is at the top so i believe uh, by the time we go through this to give you an understanding on how to draw any isometric drawing having something like this either at the top or at the side with what we are having here and then if you also look at it there is this square um box that is attached to this rectangular box um block which uh, indicating an opening you can see this is indicating an opening so like i said it's always important to understand what you are going to be drawing so this is what we are going to be looking at in this video. So now to start with, I'm going to be drawing my horizontal line. I already have my T-square and uh, my set square and my ruler. Those are the major tools we are going to be using when it comes to isometric drawing. And if you are new here, that you are yet to subscribe and you enjoy seeing more content on technical drawing and um, engineering and um, electrical topics, uh, feel free to click on that subscribe button. It's at the lower right of your screen. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just subscribed. So now to start with, like I said, uh, let me go ahead and draw the horizontal line. So I already have my horizontal line. And I'll bring in my set square. And make sure it's sitting properly on my T-square. And then I'll draw my vertical line. So this is the point of intersection. So I'll adjust my set square to that point and I'll have something like this and I'll turn my set square to the other around and then have something like this. So now let me take uh, the measurements. So the length from, from here to here is 50 millimeter. Why from here to here is, as is indicated here, is 30 from here to here is 30. So let me note those points here. So this is 30. This is 50. And then this is 30. Alright. So I haven't been able to identify those those points now. So I'll bring back the T square. So now I will from this point now, this particular point here, this is it here. So I'll use it to draw these two sides and then the vertical lines. So from this 3 centimeter mark, we'll draw it to touch, to touch the line. So now from uh, the distance from here to here, so the length is um is 25, that's 2.5, so let me measure it. So this is it. So, so this is it here. Now from this point of intersection here, that is where this particular line intersect intersection here. So I'm going to be drawing a vertical line. 
like this and from this point where we mark our 50 millimeter so I'm also going to draw a vertical line straight up so now the left from here to here is 60 millimeter from here to here is 60 millimeter so let me measure it so this is that is 60 so i'll bring in the my set square So I'll draw its faint line to touch this. So now from here, draw this line. I'll do the same thing from here. So I'm still, use, well, I'm still using faint lines. Now, from here to here is also 60. So let me measure that. So that's, that's the point. That represents the 60. So I'll bring in the set square. From here I have my 60. Still with faint lines. Draw a vertical line straight down. So also from here to here is also 60. T. So what I'll just do is let's measure it 60. So this is the point for 60. <coughs> so having those those point uh, that point, I can then join it like this. So this particular line here. So this is it. So before we move forward, let's, let me go ahead and make some of these points, these lines. Let me make it bold so that we can see the progress we've made so far. So let me bring in my ruler. So if you are finding value, please give it a thumbs up, click on that thumbs up button. Now if you notice that I didn't make this line bold, you know, I've not made it bold because that's where we are going to be drawing, you know, this opening. So that's why I left this line and then this particular line. But every other line that I supposed to be made bold, I've made it bold. So now the next thing I want to do is, I want to do this opening. This particular opening here, I want to bring it here. So for, for us to do it, now if you look at what we are having here, this, what we are having here, the distance from here to here is 30 and from the, the height is also 30 so this is a sitting at the center so that means it, this part or divided into three equal parts that is 10 10 10 and here is 10 10 10 so let's let, let's do that so that you get what i'm saying so i'm going to divide this into three equal parts 
So I can decide to divide it from here or divide it from here. We are still going to get the same thing. So 10, 10, 10. And right here, this is 10 and then 10. So now we can bring back our C square again and our C square. So from this first 10 centimeter mark, so with a faint line, from the second 10 centimeter mark with a faint line, so now you adjust your so you adjust your, your set square, draw it like this. Draw it like this. So now that means this particular part has given us the um, the square that is inside. What is looking like a, a isometric square? So now for us to draw this particular line that's made it looks like um, a hole, like a square hole. So you bring in your set square from this point. So what we are what we are having here, we've been able to replicate it here. So what the, what they think is left now is the top. Next we are going to be working on the top, the top. So now let's do that. So if you look at the top of this, if you look at the top of this, where do we have in this opening? You can see that uh, the length from here to here, from here to here is five millimeter. Same thing from here to here is five, um, five millimeter. So I'll bring in the ruler and take out five, um, five millimeter from um, towards both ends. So from here to here, it's five. From here to here is five millimeter. So let's still, let's still work with that. So bring back my set square. So from that point, we are going to draw the lines. So now this line came down by once uh, 10 millimeter from here to here is 10 millimeter. It's the same thing as from here to this point, 10 millimeter. So I'll just still use a faint line because I'm here to measure it the one 10 millimeter. So it's faint line. So that is 10 millimeter and that's just the measurement we need. Every other thing you are going to get it from that point. So from there you can connect it to this with a board line. So now we can make this board the one that represents the 10 millimeter. And then 10 millimeter. So instead of us to print, draw a vertical line here and start measuring 10 millimeter like, like we did here, what we just do is we adjust our set square to this point and then we draw it. We can still use a faint line like I have here. And then from this point, we are going to draw the line to touch that line that I've just drawn. Alright, so since the line is already touching, it's already nowhere it's top. So we can now make the remaining part of it bold. So as you can see, so now next is from this point we join it 
to this line like this one this particular line so you bring in a set square you adjust it to that point and then we use it to draw a line like this so one of the things that is left is to just make this five this point from here to here and from here to here that represent the five uh, millimeter So now let me just make the part that is the five millimeter, make it bold like this. So this part. So with this now you can see we've been able to replicate this particular symmetric drawing, we've been able to replicate it there. Yeah, so what I want to do next is to add the dimensions. And after I add the dimensions, I'll be Say one or two things about some, some things that you should note when you are drawing your asymmetric drawing. 